Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In case you're your first time watching, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And also, don't forget to turn on that bell so you guys can get notifications every time that I post a new video. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the struggles of beginning a YouTube channel. I know that I am still technically a beginner. I've been doing it for about three months now, but I'm kind of starting to get the hang of it, I think. So we're gonna be talking about problems that I dealt with and problems that I am still dealing with. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I have a list here on my phone that I made of things that like I feel I struggled with a bit, that makes sense. So I'm going to be going through them and talking about them and yeah. <laughs> the first one I said you have no money to do cool things. So. I know like when I watch all of my YouTubers, like I am addicted to David Dobrik and Mia Mae Bowles. They're my all-time favorite and Mia always does these like wish hauls and softball hauls and like all this stuff and like those are her most popular videos. But I don't have that type of money to be spending, you know, hundreds of dollars on things each week. I wish I did. I mean, I basically do it now anyways, but it's mostly on food. Anyways, next one is it's just awkward at first like for most people this is the first time that they're sitting in front of a camera recording themselves and then editing it and then just posting it everywhere it's kind of just like an awkward thing to do just to get comfortable basically talking to yourself slash future people that are watching this that you don't know for the next one it would be equipment so thankfully i already had a camera and my dad is like a videographer so I already know how to do all this stuff and my dad bought me a tripod for Christmas and then I just went and got a little light box so for me equipment was an easy part but I know for a lot of other people they're filming off their phone because they don't have the money to go get a camera so I definitely think that having equipment is a big struggle for starting a YouTube channel for most people. One of my biggest struggles, I think, is the subscriber aspect. Um, just because you have to start from zero and it's really hard to try and make your channel bigger and try and like persuade people into watching your videos when you only have like 10 subscribers. Like you're gonna be like, I know, like, when I'm trying to search for a video, I'm going to be more compelled to watch someone's video that has, like, a million views compared to someone that has, like, 100,000, you know? So it's hard to get subscribers because people don't really want to watch the smaller YouTubers, I guess I could say. So if you guys want to subscribe, um, we can get me to 200. <laughs> Another major one would be running out of ideas. So this has happened to me a few times. I used to have a notebook where I like wrote down all the stuff that I wanted to do in my videos. I had an actual calendar of what I was going to be filming and when I was going to be posting and all that stuff. And then after about, I'd say like nine videos or something, probably less, probably like seven videos, I kind of like fell out of that routine and I ran out of ideas. I've actually finished all the ideas that I had so once again, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Okay, and lastly, for being like a beginning or a small YouTuber, there's a major struggle with what you're allowed to do on YouTube and what you can't. So for example, there's a lot of things that you're only able to do if you have more subscribers and views and stuff like that. One of the major ones is larger YouTubers, like people that are kind of in the millions or in the like hundred thousands, they can actually like write a post to their subscribers and be like, hey, I can't upload this week or I'm gonna be uploading like this day instead. But as a small YouTuber, you actually don't have that option. It's kind of like a discussion, I guess you could say. Um, but as a small YouTuber, you don't have the option to write to your subscribers. So I know that I missed an upload last week and I missed an upload a few weeks ago and I wasn't able to really let you guys know. I did post it on my Instagram and stuff, but not everyone on here actually knows 
you know, me. Um, so, of course, you're not going to see that. There's just a lot of restrictions on what you can do based on your subscribers. But yeah, those are all the struggles that I can really think of. Everything else is absolutely amazing. I love doing this. I know I've been slacking a lot this month. I've just had a lot of stuff going on and finishing school and moving home and starting work again. Uh, so I haven't really had time to film too much or edit for that matter. But I really am going to try and get 100% back into it and everything. Uh, so yeah, there is no other struggles other than that everything is great. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and that you stay tuned for next week. And also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on the bell so you guys can get my notifications. If you guys have any recommendations or anything that you want to see, once again, please let me know in the comments below. And that's everything, so I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys!